In this session, we'll look at Landsweeper's app for Jira service management assets. Let's go ahead and get started. Here we see the configuration screen for the Landsweeper app for Jira service management assets configuration. With just a few credentials, you can actually uh, populate JSM assets. You'll need your Landsweeper API URL as well as your API token. You'll also need your last seen user account ID as well as access token as well and the assets import token. With these three pieces of information added, you'll be able to set your schedule or configuration, where, whether it's daily, weekly, or hourly. I've got mine set to weekly, but most customers will probably set theirs to daily. Now, once this is provided, you'll be able to start mapping your different asset types into Jira service management assets from Landsweeper. So we give you the configuration ability to select which type of Landsweeper assets you want to create objects for in Jira service management assets. So here we can go through and look at the different names we have and enable or disable based on these radio buttons here. Uh, scrolling through, I can click and choose and bring all in by keeping all these checked. So the default configuration is checked. You would just need to uncheck this to decide if you did not want to bring that data in. In addition to all the out-of-the-box fields in Landscaper, we're also allowing you to map your custom fields and bring those into assets as well. So again, those come in pre-checked. You just need to disable this if you don't want to bring this data into your JSM assets from Landsweeper. Now, something new in our version 2 application is going to be the ability to synchronize software and vulnerabilities into JSM assets from Landsweeper. So here we can import the entire software catalog from Landsweeper to JSM assets, as well as all the vulnerabilities Landsweeper discovers, we can bring those in as assets as well. So once we brought that data in, it's going to populate into a schema you define in uh, Jira Service Management Assets. So you'll give it a name, and we're going to pre-build the object types for you uh, under a hardware parent object, so object type. So here we see hardware with all those different uh, asset types from Landsweeper synchronized in. And of course, if we scroll down a bit, we can see when we pick on different uh, object types, we'll see all the different uh, assets, and each object type is going to have all those attributes you would expect from Landsweeper tied to the asset object in Jira Service Management. So many of these are linked as well, lookup objects. So we can see here for the Windows devices, we're going to be able to see connected monitors. You'll be able to see manufacturers, processors, software versions, models, all that's going to be available to you uh, when you're looking at the various object types within JSM assets. Of course, too, we're going to have some deep links back to Landsweeper from these objects. So here you're going to see on my screen, I've got the ability to hot link right back to Landsweeper for all the object details about that asset. Uh, same for active vulnerabilities. You'll be able to at one click see the vulnerabilities for an endpoint and see all the installed software. So again, clicking on that brings up a new tab, and we can actually see those details over in Landsweeper if I want to know all the asset details, not just the primary asset details we're synchronizing into JSM assets. And again, all that's at a single click from, from assets. Of course, you've also got that ability here to see those outbound references to things like manufacturer, operating system, processor, model, and even user now. So scrolling down a bit, you can see those values here on the, um, on the object type. And again, that all comes over from Landsweeper. Lastly, let's take a look at what the uh, what you can do with this data. So you'll learn more about this through our use cases. But as you can see here, I've got a asset object related to this incident record in JSM. And again, this is discovered by Landsweeper. So right here, I can see not only the attributes that are important to me, but I can jump over to my object graph view where I can see all the object details from Landsweeper that are synchronized in. Again, linking back to Landsweeper, I wanted to see the full picture as well as any linked issues for this particular asset that we're working with here. So all this is made possible by the Landsweeper Jira Service Management Assets Integration.